Hello YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. I hope you are enjoying the lessons so far. In the last video we learned how to use today function inside date functions. And we also saw how to calculate the age of a person. Now in this video we will learn how to calculate tenure using the days function. To follow along with me, download this workbook using the link in the video description. As always, this workbook carries two worksheets. See it for me to demonstrate and do it for you to practice. Here in the tenure column, let me type in the function days. This function is designed to provide the number of days between two set of dates. End date and start date are the two arguments that we need to pass inside this function. End date can be the latest one, start date can be the older date. So for end date, I will provide today's date. From the lessons we have learned so far, we know for capturing today's date or the current date, we have a function in Excel today. This function takes no arguments and will return the current date of my system. So I type in comma and in the start date I will simply select the value from the column E2 that is the start date of my employee now I close the bracket and press enter on the keyboard this is calculating the amount of days between 30th June 2011 to today's date if you open this workbook tomorrow or sometime later you might see a different number based on the date you open it because this function is using today the function that will return you the current date of your system so I have the number of days now I need this tenure in the year format what do I do to get that in year format I'll simply divide this with 365 days 0.25 that is for the leap year and press enter on the keyboard now I have the tenure calculated in the year format I simply need to drag this down great all done so this is how you calculate the tenure using days function you can also calculate the age of a person using the same uh, method now if you go to the do it tab you have a challenge you need to calculate the age of the person in the year format in the month format and also in the days format and also try to do some math on the tenure of the employee if possible explore as much as you can practice as much as you can and trust me you will love it you will find new ways of doing things if you find it difficult to use these functions or find it challenging or get stuck somewhere do not hesitate to write a line inside the comment section below and I will answer your queries as soon as feasibly possible thank you so much for watching this video do subscribe and enable the notifications to continue learning with Sayyid have a wonderful day until next time